You too. Don't say nothing, man. <laughs> Don't say nothing. I know. I know it's God. You probably can't see me. Blah, blah, blah. Look, I understand. But I got to get something off my chest, you too. I got to get something off my chest. I've been destroying my freaking truck, bro. Like for the year, for the last year or so. Because I didn't know, oh, 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 my man, oh, <laughs> my man, my bad, look, oh, this is the first time on my channel, the first, okay, okay, my bad, man, where's my manners, but first of all, bro, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell, man, so you can get notified whenever I drop that bangers now, now, listen, listen now. I apologize. Usually, I got better table manners than this. Allow me to introduce myself, man. Chasing Mr. Hamilton is the name. Trucking is the game. Wallet to guess all is the goal. The heart of a lion mentality for high. He instead of rolling wide. Because we don't get tired. We get money. Oh, mama. There goes that man. Better. Now that we're better acquainted. Soon as you hit that subscription button, you become part of the family. But let's get back to the needed degree, you two. I've had this truck since September, October of 2019. A whole year I've gone by. And y'all know my issue with idling, bro. Okay, because I don't have an APU. If you, if, look, if, if you're trying to be an owner operator, you want to get a truck, make sure, do yourself a huge favor, get a truck with a freaking APU. This is coming from my own operator now. This is not coming from a, a YouTube company driver who want to give you the knowledge they read. This is first hand knowledge. Get a freaking APU. So anyways, in the summer, speaking of the devil, I'm doing it right damn now. I'm sitting out here chilling, right? Oh yeah, we made it home now. <laughs> Made it on Houston, baby. We made it on Houston. But here's the point, y'all. Let's let, let, let's get back to the nitty gritty. You two. I've been idling this truck extra hard in the summer. Because, bro, it's be freaking hot out here. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get the AC. When the winter started in November, I've been idling this truck like forever. You too. Tell me why I found out I did not have to idle this truck, damn it. Look, look, let me show y'all you two. Let me, let, let me show y'all what I'm talking about. I feel like a damn fool, man. I feel like a, look, look, look. Let me show y'all something, you two. Let me show y'all something. Do y'all see this? That's an inverter. You don't see that thing back there? Yeah, that, I think that's part of the inverter, the AC system or something. Blah, 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 gauges, all right, whatever. Moving on. You too. Man. Look, man. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'll be honest. I never say I was a super trucker now. I never say I had all the knowledge. I, I, this is why I always, whenever y'all hit me up, I learn from y'all, y'all learn to lose something from me, okay? So I was, listen to me, man. Listen to this, y'all. Look, look, look. I was in Akron, Ohio, talking to, having a conversation with a gentleman, right? And we started talking. He got like five trucks. He, uh, he talking about commons and very good at idling, right? Commons are not great at idling. He said, because if you idle, that's when leaks start to happen and blah, blah, blah. He got five trucks. So I figure he know what the heck he's talking about. You know, free game is free game. Especially when it's coming for somebody who's going through it right now. Just like if you want to be an owner operator, there's no better person to get your sauce from than a mofo who's the owner operator right now that's just free game that's that's just free game bro anyways this man said that commons ain't great with idling first of all the def we already know but he said in the especially in the summer on the wind or whatever the engine work real hard and they start leaking he asked me a question 
He said, do you have an inverter? I was like, hell yeah, I have an inverter. I have an inverter. I just show you on an inverter, right? Let me show you what the setup look like on the inside. Right here, right? Bed, where all the magic happens. This is my freaking inverter, right? So this is, the, this is how the layout is right here. This is the layout. Uh, this thing right here, right? You know, whatever. That thing, blah, blah, blah. So, usually, especially in the summer, right? Usually I would run this. Bada bing, bada boom, when the truck is on. Blah, 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 right? That's how that usually go, right? But the winter, this is my first winter having the truck. I didn't know what to do, man. So he's like, look, you have an inverter. I said, hell yeah, I got an inverter. He said, that inverter creates freaking heat. He said, there's a there's a bunk heater on the truck. Now, I ha I knew there was a bunk heater on this truck, man. Don't get me wrong. I knew there was a bunk heater on the truck. But what I thought was, what I'm doing exactly right now, the truck had to be on. And then this right here, there's this button right here. It has, it has that light on it, indication on the bottom bunk, right? And that's how I used to do it. And that's how I've done it when uh, winter started, I think even last November 2019, that's how I did it. But the truck will be running. I turn this on, it will hit this up underneath, blah, blah, blah. And then once I get hot enough to where I want it, then I turn it off. This man changed my life. This man said, nah, you ain't got to do that. The truck can be off. I said, what? In matter of fact, let me show you. All right, so y'all see this right now, right? Y'all see this right now. Let me turn that on. Y'all see this right here, right now, right? It's off. If you look closely, it's off, right? Okay. So I found out that inverter stay is off when the truck is on. They don't work together simultaneously, right? But when you turn off the truck, like we're about to do right now, I'd rather show you than to tell you, man. That's how you learn. I've always been a hands-on person myself, school, college, or whatever, right? Okay, so when the truck is off, right? Now, I want y'all to look now. When the truck is off, see that? That came on, right? It, I don't know if you can see the right. Let me turn this off. All right, so that is on. So let me press the button. See that? Light up, right? I did not know that. And if you look closely, which, ah, yo, my... Yo, I might not be able to see. You look closely, it reads, Hero stopped. Bro, I've always tried to mess with this when the truck was on. And nothing will ever happen, so I won't let mess with these guys right here. Yeah, they, yeah. But it said, Hero stopped. Now, if you hit this button one more time, right here, the red button in the middle. Everybody that got this, have that button in the middle, right? You got a blue and a red right here, heater. If you hit that power button looking through one more time, it said hero enable. Bruh. Bruh. Oh my God, that saved my life, bruh. Cause once the hero is enabled, then you can manipulate the temperature what you want in that, right? 76 is what I like it in here. Man, when, once I discovered this, I was in acorn, I turned that thing up, and then what happened is that right there start blowing like crazy, right? It will blow the heater like crazy. And uh, it be toasty in here than the mofo, my toasty, bro. So for a whole year, I've been destroying my truck without the knowledge of this by idling. Idling is not good for no truck, man. It's not good for no freaking truck. And then of course, whenever you're done, you hit that power button again, and then it stops. That man changed my life, bro. And I wanna share it with y'all because some of y'all probably have an inverter and y'all, I don't care what you say, y'all probably don't know how to use it either. Because what I did for heat, beside that little light to warm up the bottom, I would run this, run the heater from right here, blow it all the way back in the cab. It get toasty, turn off the truck, and I had to do that way too many times, man. But that's how you do that YouTube. I just want to give you that quick, now I'm going to hurry up, get me a lift, go home, shower, and do what I do. <laughs> YouTube. That's gonna be about the end of this video, YouTube. Just keep in mind, man. Remember, my videos are real. My videos are raw. My videos, hold on, where my hat at? What am I doing, bro? What, what, what? what? Oh my God, I done F it up. Look at this, look at the shape of this thing. I can't even do that now. My videos are real, my videos are raw, my videos are authentic, YouTube. You can't talk trucking without putting chasing Mr. Hamilton on YouTube. I'm out.